Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. Let's talk about empty elements, the elements with no children elements and no text inside. So imagine I have this set of divs and a couple of them have strings. This div has a span that's empty, a couple more divs and an empty div. So how many elements do I have? Well, here's one little tip. You can find all elements using a wildcard selector. And in this case, let's see, I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements. So it should have length seven. Perfect, we have seven elements. Some of them are invisible because, well, the empty elements are not represented on the screen. Okay. Well, how would we pick the empty elements? So this is where CSS selector empty comes into place. We can get all empty elements using this column empty selector. So how many do we have? Well, this is not empty. The second one is not empty. The third div has a child element, so it's not empty, but the span inside is empty. So first empty and then the last div is also empty. So I would say, we should have two empty elements. And can we confirm that this is in fact true, right? So we know there are two, but which ones are they? So let's look at them. Click on the get command. We can see that it found the span and the div. We can even confirm the node name, span and div. And the way to do it is to use a property node name. So for example, if I select a div, okay? And in my console, I refer to this element and I ask for its node name property, it will be all uppercase. So we can take this elements and then, so this is a jQuery object we can use low dash map to iterate over it and get the property node name from each DOM element. Okay, so this should div equal, because we have an array now, div, uh, no, it has to be span and then a div, right? Let's see if this is true. Yes, it is true. By the way, if you use my Cypress map plugin, you can simplify it and literally just say dot map and then the property of an element and boom, it works exactly the same way and it's retriable as opposed to site then. Okay, so we got the two empty elements, which is this span and this div. Can you find all non-empty elements? Well, it's really easy. Just say not and then the selector. So in this case, if we have total of seven elements, two are empty, then we should have five non-empty elements and it's correct. And why is one of them invisible? Well, because this div doesn't have representation on the page because it just has an empty element inside. So it's zero by zero pixels on the page. So find this recipe on my Cypress example site and I will link it from the description of this video.